headline. Grinding Gear Games apologetically announced that Path of Exile will not be coming to PS4 this year as uh, they had announced. According to the developers, they had underestimated the volume of work required to complete the certification process in the Christmas period. In a blog posted on November 24, the studio said, We promise that Path of Exile will be awesome on PlayStation 4 when it is released early next year. They then assured players that the added time will be invested in improving performance and FPS. Then we have your MMO Wildstar has closed, guys. So it is always a grief striking moment when games die. On that gloomy note, we report that Wildstar closed along with its developer, Carbine Studios. In the MMO's dying moments, YouTube user Paul Buckley captured a video from his perspective, which showed players assembled in a general area saying farewell. Oh, that's so sad. Shortly thereafter, Wildstar tweeted as of November 28 on um, 2 p.m. PST, the North American and European Wildstar game service has closed. Now, thank you to everyone who enjoyed us on this grand adventure across the next. Now let's move on to our next headline. Artifact player count reaches 50,000 an hour after launching and Artifact to reach the 50,000 players within an hour of its release and uh, comfortably sits on six on the Steam charts. Now the beta player numbers were deceptively low but thankfully it was no indication of actual player base. Surely it is so far too soon to make any long-term predictions on the game's future but thus far it has been a rather solid uh, start for Valve. In other news, the game is currently being review bombed on Steam due to players complaining about Valve monetizing on the game. Another headline here we have free in game shotgun available for Shadow of the Tomb Raider players. Now, Shadow of the Tomb Raider adds a special platinum edition of the Bishop 600 shotgun as a celebrity reward to its players. The shotgun is attainable by players who log into the game before the 7th of January 2019. The official Tomb Raider account tweeted some impressive post launch stats related to Shadow of the Tomb Raider. The stats indicate that the game has been doing remarkably well thanks to its awesome community. Now let's go to Emergency, Emergency 2, it's now on Steam. The classic disaster simulator Emergency 2, which first launched in 2002, has so finally made its way to Steam. Yes, developer 16 Ton Entertainment challenges you to show that you have what it takes to save lives in the wake of disaster. Emergency 2 lets you take command of firefighters, doctors, cops, and more as you lead rescue operation over 25 scenarios ranging from small to intense emergencies.
to a new update, BioWare teases Dragon Age announcement. Now, BioWare is preparing to announce something related to Dragon Age. If you've been following the BioWare blog or even BioWare's Mark Adara or Casey Hudson, you'll know that they're already working on some secret Dragon Age stuff. Yes, by the looks of it, it seems that they're ready to share some details about it as Hudson confirmed that they will be announcing some Dragon Age stuff in December, probably during the Game Awards. The last Dragon Age game Bioware released was Dragon Age Inquisition and that was back in 2014. Here we have Anthem's closed alpha starts December. EA announced that their upcoming multiplayer space shooter Anthem will be having its closed alpha on December 8. This will be available for eligible players on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. If you're one of those who want to join, you will have to sign up to the community playtest program by December 3rd. Participants can only register to play on one device, remember? Yes, and full details here, Janice, on Anthem's closed alpha are available in EA's website. We have here cross play account merging in Fortnite delayed. Epic Games plan to include a feature in Fortnite where players can merge their accounts across multiple platforms by this year. However, the company has announced that it won't be happening until early next year. Yes, now we have your Epic did not explain the exact reason for the delay except for ongoing technical concerns. Once account merging is live, players can also merge their V-Box and everything related to their account. Epic said that they will be launching a web page once release day for the feature draw sneer. Also, guys, we have your second episode of Life is Strange 2 to release January. Now, for over two months, Life is Strange fans have been patiently waiting for the next installment of the episodic interactive video game. In a blog post, Don't Nod stated that the fans are to expect the next episode in January 2019. Now, they further elaborated that the reason they had not been releasing content as frequently as per demand is they would rather not sacrifice the impact and overall quality of the fans to serve for timelines. Timeline. Yes, that's right. And uh, Don't Nod also said to expect an update mid-December. Now, we also do have your Rapture Ejects, I mean, Rejects free to play this weekend, Dennis. Now, Rapture Rejects is now available on Steam Early Access, and developer Galvanic Games invites you to delve into the action as you fight for your salvation through a free weekend. That's uh, great news, guys. Now, the free weekend for Rapture Rejects will take place until Monday. That's going to be December 3. Yes. Now, the game takes place after the Rapture has occurred, and you're one of the few rejected by the heavens. Fight to God's amusement to become the sole survivor so your soul may be saved in battle against 49 other players.
Guys, we do have your also Aquaman coming to LEGO DC Super Villains. Now guys, LEGO DC Super Villains is getting two DLCs which will be themed around the upcoming Aquaman film starring Jason Momoa. The first the DLC Aquaman Movie Part 1 is set to be released on December 4 and will be available to season pass holders. Now also it includes themed levels and characters. The second DLC Aquaman Movie Part 2 launches January 8 also for season pass holders. Both packs can also be purchased as a bundle come January 8th. The Aquaman move will release in theater or theaters in December 21st. Guys, we're down to our last headline for our special loop. That's our all ship deal of the day. And today we have the sci-fi RPG, The Surge, which currently has the best price of two euro in our price comparison. Yes, yeah, so that's going to be two euros. And on Steam, this game retails at 29 euros and 99 cents. So if you get it today through one of our trusted stores, you'll save up to 93%. Wow, that's super awesome to get more of these featured deals of the day. Just to type in exclamation mark deal in the stream chat. And to get the best prizes, use one or our price comparison here only at altyshop.com.